So are you looking to get out of your timeshare? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna talk about three things you should absolutely never do. Coming right up. Hello and welcome to Destination Timeshare. I'm Jeremy. We're gonna jump right into this video talking about the three things you should never, ever, 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 ever do if you are planning or trying to get rid of your timeshare. So maybe you don't use your timeshare anymore. Maybe you're just spending endless amounts of money on maintenance fees, maybe even mortgage payments, loan payments to the timeshare company, and you just wanna get out. Look, there's lots of people out there trying to rip you off, trying to get more money from you. Some of them might even be the developer. So three things here that you should never do. And the first one is do not, and I mean absolutely do not go to a timeshare sales presentation. Maybe you're getting a chance to use your timeshare when more times than not you don't, you're wanting to get out. They're gonna try and talk you into attending a timeshare sales presentation. Do not attend because what's gonna happen is you're gonna go in there and say, hey, we can't use our timeshare. We can't sell our timeshare. We have no way to get rid of our timeshare. And their answer to that is to buy more timeshare. You might be in a situation where you own a specific resort. They're gonna say, hey, that resort, it doesn't have any resale value. But if you buy this one over here, or maybe you buy a Hawaii resort, those ones, they can be resold, they have resale value. What we need you to do is trade in your week, buy that one, maybe pay an extra twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000, and then down the road, you can resell it. That simply usually is not true. The timeshare companies, their answer to everybody's problem with using their timeshare, even if timeshare is not the right fit for that consumer, is to simply sell them more. So you're just throwing good money after bad, and in a couple years, you're in the same situation you are now, just you own more timeshare that you're paying for that you still want to get rid of and you still want to get out of. So that is the one big one here. Do not go to a timeshare sales presentation. Their goal is not to help you get out. Their goal is to sell you more. All right, number two, this one is obvious. If you haven't heard it here before, you've probably heard it other places. Do not pay a large upfront fee to get out of your timeshare. Whether that be to a timeshare exit company, whether that be to a timeshare listing company where all they'll do is take your fee, then maybe they'll throw your timeshare up on a timeshare resale listing website where it will sit for years and years and years and years. They'll even tell you your timeshare has lots of value and hey, go out and look at our website Look at what other people are selling theirs for. Wow, they're at least listing them for. And that's probably how much you can get for yours. So people are willing to then throw lots of money at this company for the promise that their timeshare will sell for those amounts. Key here is simply do not pay a large upfront fee because what incentive does that company have once they have your two, three, four thousand dollars in upfront fee? to actually sell your timeshare. They have zero incentive. They've already got your money. So simply don't pay a large upfront fee. All right, now the third one, the last one here. Don't accept an invitation to an exclusive dinner event. A dinner in your area, maybe you get a postcard in the mail, maybe you get a phone call where they're trying to invite you to a presentation, an event. Maybe they'll give you free dinner to talk about the options you have with your timeshare. We actually did this not too long ago. We obviously don't wanna get rid of our timeshare. We love our timeshares, but we were invited to one of these. We attended one of these. I actually did a full live stream about this. I'll put a link to it right up here. But yeah, the goal there is, is essentially, they're a timeshare exit company. They're gonna take thousands and thousands of dollars and in most cases, they are simply not going to get you out of your timeshare. Their goal may be just to tell you, stop making payments, and then at some point in time, 
the timeshare company, the timeshare entity, the homeowners association will simply foreclose. They might even be just taking that week, simply turning around and listing it on eBay, where even if it sells for a dollar, hey, it's a dollar. It's not thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars that you have to pay. So if that's all they're going to do, you could do that yourself for free. So that is a key here. Do not attend dinners in your area, presentations in your area, seminars, sales meetings, whatever it might be. You might even see these guys at trade shows or at the convention center, maybe even during the boat show, RV show, whatever it might be. Just don't fall for it. Don't attend those events because their goal is just to take more of your hard-earned money. All right, so there you go. Three things, three big things that you should never, ever, ever do when you're trying to get rid of your timeshare. Kind of curious, do you have any other thoughts on this? Any other things that you think you should not be doing to get rid of your timeshare? I'd like to hear all about it down in the comments below. And if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. It really helps out these videos. Helps get these videos out to more people that are maybe stuck in their timeshare and they're looking for advice. And if you want to see more videos all about timeshare, check out the description box below. And for another timeshare tip video, check out this one right up here and YouTube. They think you'll like that video down there. Be sure to subscribe. You can do so by clicking on my picture right here. Hit that notification bell. And until next time, remember, the best destination is always a timeshare.